Are you new to programming and would like to learn the basics of HTML? This tutorial is for you. Hi everyone, my name is Yasan. I'm an instructor at Identify Academy. We upload new content on YouTube every Thursday. Today, I'm going to go through a crash course of HTML. So if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe buttons, and let's go. All right, so HTML, what is HTML? Uh, HTML is a stands for hypertext markup language, which is uh, the standard markup language used to create uh, the and, and structured content on the web. Uh, it uses a series of, of tags and attributes to define and format the content of the web. Uh, so HTML is is a fundamental technology, and it's as, as mentioned, it's been mo it's mostly used in the web development, and it's also uh, you can use it with other with other technologies, just like CSS uh, or JavaScript, to create more modern, uh, dynamic, and interactive web applications. Uh, so, so today we're not going to cover every single detail of or every single tag what uh, on HTML. Mostly, uh, I will cover the the most important ones that you might use on day to day basis or on, on your applications. Uh, and I will, I will I will also at the end uh, leave 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 you. Uh, become a resource where you can look for more uh, for more tags. Uh, so what, what what do we have here right now on the view? So we have a VS Code, and um, and uh, we basically create a file called HTML index.html, and inside it we have the basic template. So let's take let's take this template one by one and define and see what actually what do we have there. Uh, so we're starting by the doc type HTML, and and this is basically it's not not just like it's not an HTML tag, it's mostly to tell the browser that, hey, I'm using HTML5, not the old HTML or XML. Uh, and second here, we start with the HTML tag. The HTML tag is basically kind of the parent wrapper and it uh, uh, it accepts uh, like a, what type of languages we are we are going to have here. In, in this case, we are uh, we are in English language and that's better for like, it's really good for, for, for example, SEO. Uh, and then, and then uh, inside that HTML tag, we have uh, kind of at least two two separate parts, two separate tags that they are they are essential for the browsers to read. Uh, first, uh, we start with the with the head. Uh, the head basically uh, comes at the at the top, and mostly it includes uh, tags like uh, like here we have the uh, we have the encoding, for example, UTF-8. That's basically uh, it's basically to uh, to ensure that. Uh, that the browser understands all different characters from all different languages. And uh, that's basically the idea of it. And um, and then the, for example, we have the, the view the viewport here, which mostly is to make sure that uh, that the website is is uh, kind of responsive for different resolutions. Uh, not necessarily like the elements are responsive, but at least the viewport is 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 not like it's not zoomed in or zoomed out. Uh, and for for sure, you can have other 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 tags there uh, for for SEOs like like title, for example, or or like like this one or description um, um, and so on. But that's that's a bit that's a bit more towards the uh, towards SEO. Uh, so that was what what you would find in the head. And and also what the, what else what other things that you could find in the head tag is or what you could add is basically uh, linking to other to other resources like CSS. But for that, we are going to talk about. Uh, we're going to have a, a dedicated, a dedicated tutorial uh, or like a crash course for CSS, and we're going to talk about that more uh, on that part. Uh, uh, and and then uh, we have the uh, we have the other tag. Uh, we we would have other tag like another tag called style, which basically it's also for for styling and so on. But again, I'm not going to mention this any uh, here as this is not our uh, kind of. Uh, primary focus uh, of this crash course. Uh, lastly is the body. Uh, the body where everything that is displayed on the UI, where uh, where you would write basically everything that you want to display on the UI. And uh, and from the body, inside the body, you start basically uh, writing uh, writing different things. Uh, so so yeah, uh, if, let me, let, let's just basically, uh, let me just have uh, an, a, Hello world here, uh, and let's basically see how we can run this. Uh, I, I will, I, I will in a second write down uh, kind of what kind of things we're going to talk about. So, so how do you run a, an HTML an HTML file? Uh, you have different different ways. One of the one of the ways is basically uh, you go to the go to the HTML file 
and uh, and basically drag it and and like drop it uh, in, in in the browser and it will it will basically uh, it will basically just uh, just, just work let me just uh... for example if we have here this one here uh, you can basically just go ahead and 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 drop it there and you just get your uh, get get your get your basically uh, can HTML display it and so on. Uh, but uh, what I'm going to do right now here is is basically uh, the, the the problem here is that if I want to edit or add anything to the to the UI, then then I have to go ahead and kind of refresh the page. And I don't want to have this experience at least for now. So uh, there is a better a better way to 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 display an HTML. Uh, if you, if you go if you are using VS Code, uh, go to extension and search for uh, live uh, live server, I guess. Live server, yes. Uh, install that one, and then when you do install it, uh, you would see right. Uh, let's see where we can find it. Uh, maybe right click here and open with live server, or yeah, open with live server. For example, you can click that, and it will initiate a live server for you. That is in. Uh, Board, uh, five, five, 5,500. Cool. Let's scale that. And uh, what's good about this live server is basically it it can basically just go to hot reload, and you don't need to uh, you don't need to reload that. Cool. So we are we are set. We are good to go now. Uh, so let's basically let's see what what we are going to cover uh, in in today's. So the 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 most the, the the important things that we're going to cover is uh, first the image tag, or we can go with, uh, or let's go with uh, let's go with uh, headers uh, first, and uh, then we can cover image tag. Uh, then we could talk about uh, what forms, uh, form and uh, and and input. Uh, next up, we could talk about. Uh, uh, buttons and a tag. Uh, next, we can basically talk about uh, nav and uh, footer, uh, table and lists. Uh, uh, and, and lastly, let's talk about uh, semantic uh, HTML and what is a semantic HTML and what, what does that even mean? Uh, so so yeah, uh, let's get into it and uh, see what we can uh, what we can talk about that. So uh, starting with headers. Uh, so so first of all, uh, you might have already have noticed on how can you create a, a tag. So if you want to create a tag, it's basically uh, you open um, like this uh, less than and greater than sign uh, or. And inside it, you basically write whatever tag you are targeting, or what do you want. So, uh, so when we talk about when we talk about headers, uh, we have from H1 all the way to H6. Uh, those are all the headers we have. Each each header has its own uh, uh, styling. Uh, from uh, H1 is the biggest, and then to uh, to H6 is the smallest. Uh, so how do you write that? So uh, you open a tag, and then it expect a an opening tag. I have here a uh, kind of an extension to auto complete the tag for me, but you might not have it. If you have it, you could basically go ahead and uh, and install it from the uh, from the extension. I think it's called uh, auto close, I believe. Yeah, it's auto close tag where you basically it, it automatically closes the tag for you. You don't need to worry about it. Uh, but if you but if you don't have it, you have to make sure that you have an opening tag. This is basically called open tag, and then every tag has to be closed, uh, whether it's a it's a self close or just uh, or or something like that. So how do you close it? Uh, you have it has to be the same name, and uh, basically uh, with this forward slash at the beginning. That's that's an opening tag, and that's the closing tag. And whatever you write in between will be displayed in the H1 tag. Uh, so uh, let's just write uh, hello, uh, hello uh, world. And what we can do here is I could show you that we could basically have a have different tags H1 and what what we have here we have 
H1, H3, H4, H5, and H6. Uh, I think, yes. All right. Uh, so if we if we go ahead and uh, and open the the browser, we could see how beautiful they they look from H1 all the way to uh, to to H6. Uh, so what what do they mean, and when do you actually uh, use these uh, use these tags? Uh, mostly, it's about uh, it's about accessibility, and uh, like for example, you could you could basically just. Uh, just use any of these tags and and change the style, uh, but but that's not not good in terms of accessibility. So that's why you have to be a bit mindful on when when to use and, and which one to use. Uh, but but before before I before I continue here, I want to show something really important, which is uh, uh, you could see the uh, the the DOM. It's called the DOM. So every anything you you write here in the HTML. It, it get uh, it get burst into 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 a DOM element, and so how can we see the DOM? Uh, you can right click on anywhere you wish, uh, click inspect, and when you click inspect, uh, let me put here, and I could also zoom in there. Uh, let me just make this a bit bigger. So uh, so this is the DOM, and and basically here you can inspect and see how your what what your elements looks like, and what what are the tags, and how is the uh, the structure uh, overall. Uh, uh, yeah, and, and this is really important for, for debugging if you want to see how, how, how it looks like and uh, or if you're having any problem and you don't really know what's going on, then uh, then inspecting is, uh, is, is really helpful for debugging. So, so let's talk more. Let's talk more about what are the differences and and when do we use which. Uh, so for 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 the H ones, it's uh, it's it's recommended that you have only uh, one uh, H one in per page. Uh, H one are tend to be for uh, for for titles, the main title of the page. What is the main title of the page actually? And then you have to. And then you have to follow uh, this hierarchy order. Uh, so if you have, for example, titles for uh, for other uh, for other sections uh, or for the other main section, then you go with H two, and uh, and basically make sure like you have the uh, you have the you have the proper hierarchy uh, from 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 top uh, to bottom. Uh, then. Uh, and then, then, then next, what we what we want to cover is uh, is basically what is the image tag and what does it uh, what does it uh, offer to us. Uh, so, so yeah, uh, let's let's first let's first go ahead and look for some some images here. I'm going to look for HTML uh, HTML image. If I go there, I will basically pick maybe pick this one. And uh, I can right click there, copy, copy link address, and we are good to go. I need that in a moment. So uh, what is that? What is an image tag? And uh, so if you wanna if you wanna embed an image or if you wanna have an image displayed on you, on the UI, then uh, then uh, basically it's uh, it's the tag. It's called IMG. And IMG tag is 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 one of these tags that it's a self closed tag. So meaning that you don't need to uh, to write something like this, uh, like opening and closing tag. Uh, with image, it's more of a of a, of a self closing, meaning that uh, you would append this uh, the forward slash at the end of the tag, uh, and that's called a self closing tag. So what does uh, what what do we what does what does uh, image expect? So image expects a couple of attributes. Attributes are more of like a like a key and value uh, for for a tag. So for example. You might be wondering, okay, if I put here the image, so how can I tell how can I tell my browser that hey, this is an image tag. You have to go to to somewhere, uh, uh, some some server somewhere else to get me this image. I want to display that specific image for me. Uh, so so if we want to display something, some image that it's been uh, you know hosted somewhere else, then 
uh, but host it or not host it somewhere else. Uh, image image is expecting a an attribute called source. Uh, source is mostly for hey, what is the source of of the of the file? Uh, if if it's if it's something that you have hosted here uh, locally, then then you could basically have forward slash and then uh, name of the file. And then and then it will be displayed. But in our case, we are we want to look for who this link here. It's 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 pretty long. Uh, uh, I, that's basically yeah. It's it was picking this one. Let me just copy the uh, copy the image address itself, and this should be this should be shorter. Yeah, it's shorter. Uh, so. So yeah, so this is I'm telling that hey, the source is this. Go ahead to this location and pick up the source for me. Uh, what else? It it also expects another another attribute. Uh, it's called uh, the alt. Alt is another attribute that it, that the tag expect. And what it is alt for is it means that uh, if the if the image that you are trying to display for some reason it failed to it failed to be displayed. Uh, what can we display instead of it? Uh, like a text that could be displayed, and and that's one reason. Uh, and there's another reason that's uh, also uh, that's for the accessibility part of it. For example, for for users who try to visit your website and try to visit it actually via the via the voiceover, they don't really see what what the image looks like. So they want to go and and read. Uh, what do you? What have you wrote in between this alt text? So I would say here, an HTML, uh, an HTML icon. So they would basically read the the alt that I've that I've presented here. Uh, there is something wrong there. I need to remove that, and we're we're good to go here. So uh, let's see if that actually worked. Uh, and yes, it indeed worked. But it doesn't look good, right? I mean, we are we are not in we are not in a uh, in a, a CSS file. But but what we could do is uh, the the H, the the image tag. It also expects uh, other other attribute, uh, which one of them or or two of them is the width. What width we are looking for? So I will say the width is uh, the width should be like it should be three hundred, and uh, and the height will be also three hundred. Um, I think that. That's good enough. Yeah. So you see now it's it's looking a, a bit better. So let's see where like what this all does for us in this case. So if I try to like break, uh, break this, uh, break this uh, link somehow, I'll just add some random characters there. So you would see that the image is broken, but what we got displayed instead of the image is the alt tag, and that is also helpful for for if if for some reason your the, the the asset has is not working. Uh, then, uh, then you could basically display this text instead. That's for uh, one reason. It's water break now. All right. So let's see what we're gonna do next. Uh, let's bring up. Uh, let's let's uh, let's bring this up here. And uh, uh, next thing we are going to to talk about uh, cover is uh, maybe. Uh, forms and inputs. Uh, let's maybe let's put that. Let's put that maybe right here, and and maybe talk a bit more about uh, about now buttons and what we can do with buttons. Uh, so so basically, uh, the the idea of having a button or or an a tag is if you have a, a link, uh, something clickable. You want to click on something, and you want to go somewhere. Uh, or, or basically, you want to activate uh, a certain thing. Uh, so, for that reason, if you want to have more kind of interactive elements uh, on on your web page, then you have to you have to go with uh, with either of them. For example, uh, you, like technically, you can you can you can basically like uh, gonna have a div that is, for example, that's clickable, but it's it's not really recommended. It's it's recommended to uh, if if you want something. That is, uh, if you want to perform actions, you have to make sure that the element that you're using is actually meant to be clicked, and it's meant for for such actions. And uh, and to name to name couple of them uh, is what we have is the button. Uh, so so what is what is what does the button would have? So uh, a button is you write a, a, an open tag here, so open and closing tag, and uh, and right in between 
uh, between those tags is what do you want to display? Some exactly like what we had with the, with the headers from one to through six. Uh, so, so what I want to say here is read, maybe read more. And uh, and right now, if I would, if I would, for example, I don't know, maybe maybe duplicate that and have uh, another one, maybe I don't know, maybe reset, reset form. So, so in this case, now I have uh, two uh, two buttons, and then if I scroll to the uh, to the bottom, now we can see how how, how yeah, I don't know beautiful or ugly you you touch them. Uh, but this is kind of the default styling for it, and um, and for sure we can make it look better. But again, this is not not, not for not today, for for maybe for the next for the next tutorial. Uh, so so these buttons right now are, are are clickable, and and when you and then you you need some you need some kind of JavaScript interaction between them. So to to actually make them do something. Right now they don't necessarily do anything. Uh, but but yeah, it has. They have to be. Uh, they have to be integrated with with some JavaScript code. Uh, so uh, the, the the button has has a has has a, has some or has one attribute that it might be uh, it might be uh, it it would be useful in in some cases, which is the the type. So for the type, we have a type button uh, that's basically telling that hey, this is just a button. Uh, the other type we have is the submit. Uh, this is really helpful if it was within a form. Uh, you need to you need to you need to tell that this is this button is a type submit. So so the form knows that when this button is clicked, then we are going to submit the form. We're going to talk more about that when we jump into the uh, when we jump or talk about uh, the the form stacks. Uh, and then there are the, there is the last one which is called uh, a reset and uh, and also uh, this is this is mostly used uh, if we are uh, in a form and and we want to for example reset the, uh, the re reset all the all the fields uh, what's really cool about it that this reset is if it was inside a form then it will automatically reset all the fields for us so we don't really need to worry about the logic or how to actually make the reset yeah that's that's for example, semantic HTML. Someone has already built all these functionalities, accessibility for us that that we don't really need to worry about them, uh, and and yeah, they just come out of the box. How awesome is that? All right, so uh, let's basically bring back everything. I've noticed that at least my prettier here is is not working. Uh, I'm not sure what's happening, but uh, let's just basically uh, fix those here. Mm. All right. Uh, uh, should, should I worry about them now? <laughs> no, I will just I'll, I will worry about them now. Uh, it's totally fine. Uh, all right. So so the other the other way is to if you want to have uh, basically some some interactions with uh, with your page, then then what do we do is we. Uh, we basically have a let me just here add the type button for some reason that the type button is not default I find it weird uh, but yeah so so for for the other the, the other way to to interact with uh, with uh, uh, or to have some clicking clicking events is the is the a tag uh, uh, a tag is also uh, is but is also like an opening and a closing tag, and in between you basically it's whatever whatever text that you want to really display on the uh, on the uh, UI. Uh, maybe let me uh, let me remove all these things here. So and just we keep the one that we are talking about at this point. So I would say here maybe read uh, more uh, or or for example visit this page. Okay. Uh, so 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 for a tag is mostly used for links if you have links whether it's internal or external like for example uh, uh, if you want to have external you could define that you could define that via the attributes the attributes are are, are meant for such stuff uh, so each each tag has its own specific attributes and you could always like look like Google and see what are the available attributes for that specific tag and then you would learn more on, on what is what is this about uh, it's it's really 
it is really uh, kind of recommended for for developers to to basically to be uh, comfortable uh, reading reading documentations and reading other people's code. So I, I highly recommend you that you uh, you encourage yourself into into reading more and more because like uh, that's what you're going to basically. Uh, be doing for the rest of your your career in in, in programming so uh, i highly recommend you do that or get used to reading uh, so so the a tag what does it what does it uh, expect it expect at uh, uh, an attribute called atref and and the atref here is you can define what what do you what is the what is the destination what what where do you want me to what do you want me to do uh, when this a tag is being clicked so we could basically uh, have a uh, go to for example like internal internal pages like I could say uh, when you click it I want you to go to for example uh, let me just create another page uh, about .html so I will say here visit visit about page and and now if I go ahead and create another file here uh, called about .html and um, and I will just basically say here h1 is uh, about page so so at this point what I'm going to do uh, let me just uh, I feel like I feel like if I mm, I have to maybe reload let me just reload the window or bridge here maybe to kick it off again. Okay, so so what I, what what do I have here is I'm I'm saying that hey uh, when this file is clicked I want you to go to uh, so basically when you tell when you tell your HTML that hey uh, the forward slash if the forward slash comes at the beginning it means that I am trying to access resource some resource locally uh, that that's what it what it means. Um, so, so right now I'm saying, hey, go look for a local file called HTML uh, dot, about dot HTML, and and yeah, we do have one 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 here that one that was just created. So let's see if that actually works. Uh, uh, I killed the server here. Let me just uh, basically run it again. Um, uh, open with live server. And um, it should be on. Cool. So right now, if I click on visit about page, and voila, you see, right now I'm in about page. I can just basically also uh, tell that, uh, hey, uh, here is the uh, home page. So so you would notice. So uh, Oh, now, now I can go back. Now let's let's fix it on how. Let's see how we can go back. Actually, so uh, so home page. Uh, let's visit about the about page, and now we are on about page. Uh, so that's one of the ways if you wanna like wanna wanna use some um, uh, the like visiting internal internal links, and we can do the same thing in the in the in the about here. I could just say uh, here here is a tag, and uh, uh, go to home page. And I will say a tref is basically is the uh, index.html. So this is the href for it. Uh, so if I go back there and then now I can click, I can now toggle between home page and let me just zoom in here. Uh, okay, I can now toggle between home page and about page. And you could, you, I'm not sure if it's too small, I guess, but the URL changes depending on the file that we are trying to display. Is it home or it's a uh, page? So, uh, so that's one way if you, if we, if we want to look into, uh, if you want to like basically uh, have have the uh, have moving to in, in internal uh, internal internal pages and. Uh, Mm, okay, now now I've noticed why why Prettier is is yelling at me. <laughs> it's because uh, I don't have the body op the open tag for the body. Uh, okay, ah, <laughs> yeah. You see, you know, just 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 leave it for a while, and then you will figure out what was the wrong. But I've I've just I've just I've just realized that hey, what is the body tag? I can't see the opening tag for the body, uh, and that's why it's like hey, like 
there is something wrong. Uh, but you see, like HTML didn't even bother; it just worked. Uh, uh, so that's why you have to be to be a bit, a bit more cautious on on uh, if you, hey, do you have an opening and closing tag of 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 that uh, of that of that tag uh, or of that element. Uh, so so yeah. Uh, that's that's basically uh, that's basic for the local 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 uh, local links, and we could we could also do kind of uh, external links, something like uh, I want you to go to the to https forward slash and then uh, hey go to like I don't know you could also like say hey uh, go 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 to google dot com for example. And uh, and and then it will it will go or or for better is let's just go basically write write the full uh, the full link here. So and then I could just say that uh, hey uh, now I want you to I want you to uh, go to Google. All right, let's go there now. If I click go to Google, now boom, now I'm in Google. It linked me to to Google. Uh, so sometimes you uh, sometimes you want to basically uh, you want to go to an external page, but you don't want to you want to open another tab, uh, not actually overwriting the current tab that you have. So if you if you're interested to uh, to open another tab when when you when you visit a uh, an external link, uh, then then what you should what you could do is you could basically uh, have a have an attribute called a target and that target is you would be underscore blank uh, but you have to keep in mind that when you when you have target underscore blank uh, you should make sure you add uh, the the real attribute and the real attribute will be this uh, no uh, opener and uh, a no opener and maybe a no uh, referrer. So uh, those are basically are recommended to add when you are visiting only external, uh, only external links, and also uh, if you are opening it in in a different, uh, in a different page. Uh, so for for some security reasons. Uh, so right now, if I go there and click go to Google, now you would see that I have opened another tab. For, for for Google, it did it did not override uh, my current one that I have, uh, which is which is really cool. That's what I want. So you can see now I have different tabs. If I click it again, it creates a different tab. Uh, so so yeah, uh, let's continue forward. What do we have now? Something doesn't look right here. Okay, no. Okay, the formatting is 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 not. It doesn't look the best. So let's just fix this format, and yeah, this is a bit better. All right. Um. So so what is next? Uh. uh but yeah. By the way, there are also cool things in uh in uh, Netref. Uh, what you could do is uh, if you want to like I don't know like. Uh, when they click, if you want them to maybe uh, open an email uh, application, you could say, hey, mail to, and then you could tell, uh, like, who are you mailing to? Is it like example.gmail? And then when, when they click, then it will open up your the default uh, the default mail uh, mail application that they have or you could also have it uh, like if you want to have uh, like a like a like a phone call for example uh, you could just basically have a tell and then you could just like write the telephone that it's going to dial uh, but I, I don't think there's a spaces something like that uh, yeah they're they're pretty cool uh, right, so uh, what is what are we going to cover next is uh, nav and footer. Uh, so so nav and footer are are mostly about uh, about semantic HTML here that you are you tell you tell the you tell the browser that this is a navigation, this is the footer, and um, and how do you how do you write that is basically uh, by again opening and closing tag, and within in between these tags you write your navigation. Um, so so it it actually it it won't do anything special to you uh, this nav. Uh, it's more about it's more about the the uh, the browser how it would understand it or how it would know like what are you trying actually what. What are trying to do, and uh, and so on. Uh, so uh, 
so with this nav here, let's just build up some some like basic uh, basic basic navigation. Uh, so so I could just say that uh, uh, hey, uh, I want to have a kind of a list of elements. Well, let's let's use just let, right now. Let's use the tags that we only learned yet. And but but next, I will show you how to build a better navigation. So I will have different different navigation. I will say home. And um, and also I will have uh, the uh, what do we have? We have about page. So so the home page will be the href for for index.html. And let's have let's have uh, the the about to go for about.html. So so right now what we did is we built a navigation system. So we could just basically now have. Click it. So, so the the navigation uh, because because when we move on to, we move on to the to the to the about page, this navigation goes away. Uh, so so let me basically let me go to the about page. This is about page, and I will I will paste exactly uh, the the same ones right here at the at the top, and then I will go back to the home page here, and uh, let me put this uh, right here at the top as well. So so now we have a navigation that goes from one page to another. You see, go home, about, home, about. And uh, yeah, how cool is that? Uh, so so that's the navigation. Uh, again, uh, the, the navigation here is, is not actually doing something visual like like you could you could use something a, a tag called uh, div, for example. A div is a tag for for if you like is is only defined it, div is is meant for if you want to group elements together uh, and that's what is div for uh, sometimes developers use div for everything which is which is not a good idea and something that i don't recommend you have to always look for hey can i use something other than div then if that's if the answer is yes then you go ahead and, and do that like for example here if i use div and go back to the go back to the browser see like nothing would change because the nav tag it doesn't have any effect actually it's just like any other tags any container tags uh, it's it's unlike button for example or a tag uh, or 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 um, i don't know image for example you know it's just basically a container uh, that that it does not it does actually nothing to the to the to the ui part of it to the interface it mostly it mostly uh, it's mostly about uh, how the browser understands it uh, uh, yeah that's mostly and for, for sure the, the accessibility part of it so let's bring it back to nav because we we know that this is a navigation so uh, this has to be a navigation nav. Nav is, stands for navigation. Um, and and usually and usually on on web pages you would basically have have something at the bottom called footer. Uh, so uh, so we have a specific tag for it footer. And inside the footer, for example, you could say that uh, uh, hey uh, we want to have a uh, an I don't know. Let's go for example uh, copyright twenty twenty three. And uh, yeah, I've, I've just remember. I just noticed that I haven't talked about like the B tag here. Uh, B tag is is meant for paragraphs. If you want to write paragraphs, and uh, that's where you basically, uh, that's where you basically write paragraphs. Um, uh, and yeah. So if we go back here, you can see now we have uh, uh, an HTML like also like displayed there a markup uh, displayed. Uh, but again. Uh, like again, this like this footer tag is it means nothing to the UI. Like I can have here as a nav, and it wouldn't change anything to the UI. It will still the same. Um, I can basically have like anything there. Uh, I can have like I don't know <laughs> article or or like literally like anything because it doesn't really matter on the view point of view. Uh, but but what it matters really again is how the browser understand it. So this will fall back into something called semantic HTML, which I will talk about, uh, I will talk about later on. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, so, so basically, uh, uh, there's also some, some stuff that I uh, want to talk about, but not necessarily here, maybe, maybe on the CSS part of it, but I could just mention a bit of things. Uh, like, for example, we have something called, um, like, a, uh, like, let's just basically add it here. We have uh, like a block, and uh, we have inline block, and 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 inline. Uh, 
Uh, so these are like the properties of, of, of the element. So for example, uh, when we have when we have a, a, a footer, a footer or, or a block means that, hey, uh, I'm not allowing anyone to sit next to me. Like for example, if we take a look at the A tags here, they are right, right, they are right next to each other, right? Right next to each other here. And when we go back to the browser, you see them displayed right next to each other. They are not displayed under each other. And if I would like inspect the element and, and then I would, for example, I click on the computed property here and then scroll a bit down, you see that the, the, the display of them is in line. It means that they are next to each other. All right, so we have other property to, to tell that, hey, they are in line next to each other, which is called inline block. The difference between inline and inline block is that inline block respects the, the element, uh, the element uh, uh, bedding margins and so on. Uh, I, will, I, will talk, like, I will dive deeper into those topics when we talk about CSS. Um, I, I believe it's, it's more related into CSS at this point, but, but something to keep in mind. The, the the other thing that uh, that you would notice that hey what if I have like what if I have for example uh, two you see two navigation like right under each other right so if I have like two navigation right under each other do you think that they will be displayed next to each other or under each other yeah it's they are under each other why they are under each other and not next to each other because if we hover over the if you hover over the nav tag here and we do the same thing as we just did which basically we go to the computed tab here and then we scroll down to the display we could see that it's a block so what is what is a what does a block mean a block element means that hey no one takes my space i'm going to take the entire width of the view the entire width of the screen and no one take it no one can go there and sit next to me if you if you have if you are an element you have to go and sit under me and so on and so forward so that's the most of the differences between uh, block and inline block and um, and each element each element of the of the of the of the, of the html uh, or each tag of the html has has this has these kind of uh, properties where it's either uh, an inline or inline block or a or a block uh, yeah, so, so yeah, uh, let's just yep, remove this and uh, and let's move on to the uh, to the to the next part here. Uh, thing I've talked about that uh, right there and navigation and um, and footer there. All right, so we move on to the to the to the next ones, which is a form and input. So if you want to collect, uh, if you want to collect. Uh, tags, or if you want to collect some information from uh, from a user, so how can you how can you do that? Uh, let's go ahead uh, and uh, and basically add the form here. So we write a form. So a form tag is is uh, uh, you can construct it as such. It's an opening and a closing tag, and a uh, form is written in between. And uh, and the form has 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 basically different attributes. Uh, one of them is the action. Uh, action is mostly is is to tell hey uh, if it's if it's for example we are collecting data and sending it somewhere we, then the action is telling hey we are where are we sending this information to uh, it could be some server uh, or it could be anything else uh, so yeah uh, the other the other properties that uh, that you could tell is the method so what is the type what is the method that of that request uh, uh, is it we have two things we have either the we have either the get or we have uh, the post there are two kind of two differences uh, two like two like differences between those two methods but um, I don't want to get you uh, uh, you know uh, uh, yeah I don't want to go go into that into, into that per, into that part because because it's basically it's a I think it's right outside the scope of, of this tutorial uh, so so yeah, uh, what do we have here? So so next up is what do, what do we, what do we want to have is usually the form it consists of inputs, labels, and and buttons. For example, for submitting. Uh, so so if you want to collect some data from 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 the user, how do you do that? You go and write an input tag. Uh, an input tag is a self-closing tag. 
and and the input tag is basically uh, could be could be uh, multiple things. Uh, you 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 define that you define the the type by by an attribute called uh, called uh, a type and. Um, and there, where you can basically tell, okay, uh, I want the type, for example, to be to be text, or I want it to be a number. So let's go, for example, uh, with the text. Uh, second is that uh, each uh, kind of each input has to have a name uh, to to be identified by a name. What is the name of of, of this input? So I would say that maybe when we want to collect uh, first name and last name, so I will say first first name, and uh, and then. Uh, you might have uh, you want to display something uh, like if you if I right now if I would save this and go back to the UI what would I see I would see basically an input that I can write into it uh, so you see but it's it's a blank a uh, user doesn't really know what is that input is for uh, is it is it is it first name like what should I do here so how can you define uh, that name so there are two ways you could either use something called a placeholder and a placeholder is is basically where where it's a kind of placeholder you could write uh, please uh, like provide your know, first name and if I save that and if we go back to the UI you see that it's now it's now written here. People know that okay, this is meant for first name, or, or maybe just basically. Type type your first name. See, type your first name. Uh, there's other way that 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 basically uh, uh, developers do is they would they would provide uh, provide a label. Uh, a label is. Uh, is, is meant for for inputs labels together and uh, and you write for example here is a first name column and uh, and for now at this point you could remove the place or you don't really need a placeholder uh, at this case uh, maybe you need to have here a, a title for just basically uh, better uh, accessibility here first uh, what you say first name uh, so at, at this point here, uh, you want to create. Uh, you want to create uh, kind of uh, a connection because because that is that is not enough. Like the the label here, like like visually in the UI, you know everything looks cool. Uh, but if I want to if I want to write something here, then I need to basically click on the input to get access to the. Uh, to the uh, you know basically to focus and to to write the value, but what if you want to click on first name and then then try somehow activate this? If you want to build this connection between label and inputs, how do you do that? Uh, you go basically and and go to the uh, go to the label and you could say HTML four and uh, was it HTML HTML or was it was it just four? I guess. Four, and uh, and the fourth you need to point it to a uh, like an ID, uh, so or mostly an ID. So I would say here we create another attribute called ID, and and the ID would be the first name. So now we can connect the label with the ID with the first name here. So we have paste it. Now now the label. Now we have built, we have successfully now built a connection between a label and an input. For first name, we'll, we'll look for what, do I have an element that has an ID that matches this for? So we are looking for an ID that's called first name. So right now, let's see what, what we have done. Uh, so now I can only click on the first name and the moment I click on the name, you see that it, it automatically highlighted for me. So I could just basically click here and then start typing. Cool, right? So let's let's make this a bit more complicated. I'm going to copy that and then paste it and then and actually and then create a, uh, a different one. So I will say uh, this not, this time will be for last name and uh, and then the 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 ID here will be last name. Uh, the 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 name here will be uh, last name, and uh, and the title again here for accessibility will go last name, and and four this four will be for last name. So now we have two inputs. We have see we have first name, and then we have last name. Uh, Yes, so John Smith, 
for example. Cool. So, so what else we could do? Uh, we can have a different, uh, different uh, types of inputs. So I could just have an input that is, uh, that is, um, uh, maybe, maybe type, uh, type uh, uh, number. And and then what we would have here is we would have a uh, basically an input that we can only type numbers there, incremented or decremented. And uh, and that only allows numbers. Like if you try to access, like write any characters, it wouldn't allow you to do so. So let's see here. Let's let's make make sure that we provide all the all the all the expect properties. And uh, so what are we expecting here? We are expecting again because uh, so I want to I do want to have a label here. I will just basically have a placeholder. Placeholder say maybe age, uh, and then I will have. A, I think that would be enough here. Now we could see that, okay, now we know that this is an age and I could write, like you could write your age, for example, here. Uh, so so what else here we could do is basically, uh, there are like other way more uh, tags into it, but this is like a really good starting point for you. And then I could, as I said, towards the end, I could show you one place uh, to, uh, not necessarily towards the end. Let me just show you here right now. Uh, we can like, if you go to W3 uh, like school here, and uh, and right there, uh, let's just go W3, uh, three uh, school. Uh, then we just basically write HTML tags. And, uh, and if you go there, uh, then what you would have here, if you look on the sidebar, the sidebar will show you all basically, all the elements that it exists. Uh, in 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 basically in 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 our in the HTML. Uh, so for example, uh, you could you could go for uh, like we have text area for example. Text area is also meant for maybe write more uh, more of uh, more tags uh, or like yeah. Let's let's give this a try. So if we go there and let's let's paste this text area, and uh, and the text area here we would have also a placeholder for it. Let's say message and. Uh, and now you could say here, uh, all right. So now if you go there, you can see that we have now a, a text area where that people, they can try uh, like more more about it. Uh, yeah, so, so what else we could do? Uh, something else we could talk is about is we can now have the buttons are included here. We could say, let's have a button that actually submit and, and then we can define that, that the type of the button is a submit button. Uh, so when we click it, we submit it somewhere. Uh, and then let's have another button called reset. And, and here we can have a type of reset. And uh, now if you go back, uh, it looks ugly, I know, but let's not, let's not look into this one, at least for now here. So I'm going to say like, hey, John Smith of age 40 maybe, and you message, I do like HTML. And now what I could do here, I could you could click submit. And and when you submit, uh, you might notice that at the top here in the URL link, it's it's a small, I know, but uh, you, when you give it a try, you will see it that you all these properties have been submitted uh, to the uh, to to the UI. And that's because is uh, our this has been submitted on the query there. And that's because the the type, the default type for 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 the uh, and the default method for, for, for the form is git. So when you submit a form using git method, all the data will be will be exposed in the URL. So you have to make sure that you don't submit like uh, uh, sensitive data using that. And if you want to avoid sending the, uh, the data submission on the, to the URL, then you have to make sure that they are, you, are, you, you basically use, uh, use the uh, different method. Like for example, you go there here and you say form a method is post. And when you do so, then then it will have you will make sure that you don't submit it. So let's go again. Uh, John Smith, age of forty. I do like HTML. And then if we click submit, uh, you know, something has gone wrong because we need to connect it somewhere. But it's fine. Uh, let's just go back, and that actually fits fits back to 
remove that and go back to to the default one git uh, so so let's just write here random things and, and now what we could do is we could just click reset and you see that the moment i click reset it resets everything for me Tara, cool right okay so what we can talk about now here is uh so we finished with forms and inputs so uh so last last two topics is we're going to talk about uh lists and tables uh so uh, what is a list so we have uh, we can build a uh, list of things uh, we have we have a tags for something called unordered list uh, so so the tag is actually ul and it expect list items and as as you spell it here it's list items which is li that's basically an item uh, for for every for every this entire uh, list itself so you could have different items so i could say maybe apple uh, orange and um, that's it. <laughs> I ran out of ideas. Ah, kidding. Anyway, uh, so so we have this ul tag. This is unordered list, and uh, and the unordered list is. Uh... Oh wait, we are in we are we are in the about page. Let let's go to the about page and see them. Cool, we are here. So apple and orange. So you see, unordered list don't usually come with a number. So because they are unordered, we have other. We have other uh, list called ordered list start with ol and maybe we have like i don't know to do one and here to do two if i go back you see that the ordered list has a has has a number uh to do one and to do two and so on so this is the differences and if you want to build lists and uh, that's that's where you have to where you have to use the where you have to use the uh, ordered or unordered list it's up to you what you want to do and and how this is how this is why and how you can use this or where you can use that you can use it actually in the navigation so instead of having them all under under like these tags you could just basically build a, a list here and maybe an order unordered list and and then you would have list items of of those tags that you have so one here and let's duplicate that and the others here so now we have a better navigation system here the navigation system that has a uh, sorry uh, that has a, a list of items for the first item is the home page is the second item is the page right so this is now here now here where like visually it wouldn't change anything it would still look the same but if you take a look now the elements are are because list items are display block because they are display block now they are going to be displayed under each other not to next to each other so that's the this is the minor difference between them uh but 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 again the 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 main thing here that is about that we have to write because it's a markup language so we have to choose the right kind of, or not the right necessarily I don't think right some yeah maybe the right tags or the kind of the better tags to to actually represent what you're trying to actually uh display on the on the ui and um, and yeah so so that's for that's for that's for lists uh next up is let's talk about uh tables um so so table is is also like a a table tag it's uh you open and closing the tag and inside the table we have a different different tags that are related to it so for example we have the uh the 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 head of the of the table it's called tab t head and that's where you define who what is the uh what is the head of the table uh then uh, and then we basically tell it that uh hey um i want it to be uh so so next up inside that uh, there will be the table uh row so the the row of 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 that head and then here we could say, okay, now also the table head here that that we could say uh, this will be name, for example, and and now we say this is age. Uh, so what do we get here? Now we have built the head of the table, and if we scroll back, now you see that we have now a really nice looking. It's not yet; um, it doesn't look like cool right now. But if we inspect it, we could see that we have a head. We have a table uh, let's continue like creating the cells for the table so that's the head of the table we now we go ahead and write 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 down into that like not in the head because we done with the head if you want to add more heads you could basically add more and um, and yeah if you want to add it has to be uh, uh, 
no, it could be the same row. Yeah. So, so the second thing is we need to have a T body. Uh, that's the tag. So th there are two tags that you have to keep in mind. We have the table. That's the main tag. And inside the main tag, we have two other tags: the T head and the T body. The T head is the head. What are the columns? And and the T body is actually the rows of of that table. And inside the T body is what we do is we have the table row. And inside the table row, we would have the table cell. Uh, or the table data, and and inside that table data is what is actually data. So so a name I will go with uh, with John Smith for example, and and you have to know that uh, that the table row, each row actually represent one of these rows. So if you want to have a John Smith and has an age of forty, uh, so we could basically write them all inside one table row. And now if I go back and check the UI, you could see that uh, now they are displayed uh, with the, this. Cool. Uh, so if you want to add more, more, more rows into that, uh, so you can just basically go ahead and create more rows. I want to add maybe uh, one more here. I want to say like, I don't know, uh, John, John Dory, and he is, I don't know, 30. And now we have, now you could see we have, uh, we have two, we have now one table and then we have two uh, rows and so on. And you could basically add as many, as many rows as you want and uh, you see them all displayed. If you want to add, for example, let me just remove three here. Uh, maybe you want to add something else. You want to add uh, maybe uh, location here. And so, so, John Smith is, uh, uh, he's maybe in Finland and then the others, oh, okay, let's have them all in, in, in Finland. Oh, let's maybe go uh, Germany, yeah, and uh, Norway. Cool, we go there. Now we have uh, the, the head uh, that displays what are the columns here. We have name, age, location, and each, each uh, in the body we have each row is represent the, 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 the data for that uh, specific um, uh, user. All right, so uh, that's basically about the about about the tables and uh, and uh, it's you see it's a lot of a lot of a lot of tags, but uh, but once once you really get what what each of it does, then then you will be good to go with that. Uh, so so let's lastly talk about uh, let's lastly talk about uh, the the semantic HTML and and what does that mean? So again, as we say that uh, that the HTML is is mostly about writing a clean, nice markup that the browser understand it and also whoever wanna look into that would understand what you're trying to do. Uh, so so let's have a bad example actually here uh, of of a of an HTML. I'm going to copy that example and paste it here. All right, so here is a bad example of, of an HTML. So like technically, if I would go, if I would go there, you see like, and then let me just go home to the home page. It's on the home page. See like you have my website, you know, see this is my website. Here is some text and some links. Okay, so the visually like it's fine. Like just maybe it looked like how, how you want it to look like. But but let's look, let's, let's talk about here. What are the problems that I could see? Uh, so you can see that it's it's using a lot of divs, div, 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 div. The idea of div is that if you want to group two elements, that's only when you use div. And if uh, so, when you when you want to use a, a tag, you have to ask yourself, hey, do is there any uh, a better alternative for div? Is there appropriate uh, a semantic HTML that is meant? To, to fulfill that specific task. If, if that's the case, then, then, then you go ahead and, and, and build that or use that one uh, in, in, in instead. Uh, so, so here, uh, what we have is we have some like, uh, like a class or, or let, 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 yeah, uh, I, I put here the class just to tell you just basically, we were going to talk about classes, what they mean and what they do later on uh, or on the CSS part. Uh, but, but right here, is, is basically uh, I'm going I'm trying to have a header uh, and here I'm trying to have a content and then I'm having a footer so you see for example for the header we already have a we already have a better uh, header 
uh, element. So let me just remove this, uh, this, this box here. We have a better header element or we have a header element that we could use instead of the div. So we can just instead go ahead and use header here. And now it's, it's more, it's a better in semantically and for the browser that, hey, now I'm using a header. This is a header. It's not a, just any tag. It's a header for me here. Uh, that's that. That's one. Uh, second thing here, I could see that uh, you are trying to have a like a content. So if you if you are talking about the content of the page, then the main page, for example, then there is a prop. There is a tag is is meant for such such things, which is called main. Main means that this is the content of the page. Uh, this is the main content of the page. Uh, and second here, if we jump into the next one, I see that I have a I have a div here, and uh, and it's acting like a like a paragraph or maybe a maybe this is an article uh, that you want to display. So instead of having a div there, I would basically remove that and maybe use article. If if that's if that's what I am what I'm trying to display here, uh, then it's go ahead. Here here is here is article. You can have like multiple multiple texts there. Uh, lastly, here is I would take a look at it and see. Okay, uh, I have here a, a, a div that is also used a div, and I'm I'm have a class of footer. And if that's meant to be a footer, then why not just use footer here instead? And now you have a footer tag. That that basically now the browser understand that this is a footer, not every, not any footer. And then lastly, you would notice that there is a there is here a navigation, and it's not even wrapped with any navigation tag because this is a navigation. So why not wrapping it with a nav bar, and and then and then this will be a way better markup uh, that we are know that this is not just any list item, this is not just any list item. This item or this list is 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 a navigation for our website. Uh, so yeah. So now maybe maybe on the view nothing has changed on the on the on the look. But now if you look at it, it's way more readable. Like let's let's compare the two. Let me just copy the previous one and and let's compare. I'm going to have it right at the like right at the bottom. So. Uh, so 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 right now, if, if if you look at it, it's it's so readable. Like I know this is a header, this is the main, this is article, this is footer, and this is the navigation. You know, it's a lot. It's so much readable here. But if I look here, it's what is this? What is that? What is that? So so what I'm trying to say here is, uh, do not overuse divs. Uh, make sure you uh, you look into what is HTML semantic. Uh, make sure you do understand or you ask yourself, hey, I'm trying to do this. Uh, do we have a tag for that specific thing or not? If yes, use that tag. Cool. Uh, so, so yeah, uh, definitely there are there are way more into into semantic HTML and what semantic HTML means. But uh, I think the video is right now long enough, right? So uh, for that part, if you're really interested to know more about uh, more about uh, semantic HTML accessibility, then please feel free to uh, to leave uh, to leave a comment uh, uh, down. And yeah, I'll see you next time. <laughs>